All right, this next guy. He's uh, he's hitting the bag in the back. Get ready. On your mark. Get set. Rob Wheeler, everybody. Rob. I made all like nine grand last year, all right? I'm not fucking pull, I'm fucking pulling cash from no place, all right? I gotta like rent this car from fucking rent a boot down in fucking downtown, right? I don't know what's going on. This thing's broken down. I need a jump start to get here tonight. I'm fucking like, what am I gonna do? I'm fucking lost. I fucking pop open the hood. I'm wrenching a couple things around. Enter the homeless man into the occasion with his brilliance and all his input. He's like, hey, you need a hand with that? I was like, uh, no, I think I'll be fine. I got a buddy coming by. He's going to jumpstart me. He goes, oh, you know, because I'm a mechanic, too. <laughs> too, as in also. <laughs> sure, amidst a myriad of skills, this guy's a mechanic, too. Yeah, the full-time gig of panhandling, collecting cardboard boxes and beer cans is paying the bills. <laughs> but part-time, to supplement the income, he's a mechanic, too. Yeah, his lifelong dream is to one day work as a full-time mechanic, ASC certified, but with the wife barking around the box all day. Enough of the goals and dreams. Go get us some lunch money. It's difficult for him to follow his dreams, people. Our homeless man. It turns. I'm trapped in a box. Yeah, good. <laughs> Works well. How you doing? <laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Down at the old Kmart today. I had to get a fucking fancy shirt. They said you're doing, you're doing a show at Schnapps. Go ahead and fucking get a shirt. <laughs> I fucking chucked down three and a half bucks for this bad boy right here for you folks. <laughs> Great fucking Kmart's nuts, right? Fucking idiots running around that joint yanking crap off the shelves. Give me that, give me that. You see these idiots? They call them kids. They're all over the fucking place. I'm not having any of those bastards unless I can send them out to a field to raise themselves. Come back 16 years later with a license. I get the fuck out. All right, good job. I see this one kid. He's like, mommy, mommy. <laughs> right. That's your later. All right. <laughs> All right. Working with limited space. Got into an accident while I was here. That was fun. Got into a nice car accident. I got smashed into it by a gentleman driving one of these fucking SUV vehicles. Those things are nice. He didn't have time to watch the road. He was like checking his email, punching his Palm Pilot, fucking checking his digital dash, fucking all that crap. All in a fucking truck designed to fucking rip down a Montana and take down a mountain. Fucking ripping around a city full of nothing but concrete, driving a fucking SUV, urban assault vehicle. Look out, I'm driving one. We know the fucking SUV fucking gotta be prepared in case some new mountain pops up in Lincoln Park tomorrow morning on the way to work. <laughs> Why traffic's all backed up. It's a good thing we opted to get machetes sticking out of the tires. We gotta take out all the foliage on the way over the top of this sucker. Yeah! Oh, good day at work. I'll see you at five. Fucking use an SUV in this fucking town for to hurdle speed bumps at the strip mall while you're out shopping at fucking Crate and Barrel? <laughs> Crate and Barrel fans, huh? No. Good times. <laughs> Crate and Barrel is a store that sells nothing but crates and barrels. Is there some guy laying around his house like on a fucking Sunday? He's like, honey, look at it all. All the clutter. It's everywhere. The bowling trophies and the sweatshirts and the footballs. Whatever am I to do? Couldn't just somebody open up a shop that could 
and sell just nothing but crates and barrels so that I can put it all in and finally have some organization in my life? No, okay, good. <laughs> Content. This will be tight one day, don't worry about it. <laughs> happened recently or six years ago. Oh, it doesn't matter. Something's broken. <laughs> I had to get my car worked on recently. I had to go to this place called Minus Muffler. Have you been there? That's a fucking rip off that place. You been there, sir? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Their slogan is you're not going to pay a lot for this muffler. Right? I drove in there. My car's all like, it's like, fix it. He's like, you need a muffler. He's like, great, do whatever it takes. Should not have said do whatever it takes. I came back. He told me the muffler is 20 bucks. I come back like three hours later with 24.50 from tax and whatnot. The guy hands me a bill for 487 fucking dollars. I was like, what happened to not going to pay a lot for this muffler? What happened to 20 bucks? He's like, you didn't fucking pay too much. The muffler was 20 bucks. I was like, what are the rest of the charges? He goes, well, you had 150 dollars for shipping. Shipping? Yeah, we had to ship that muffler in from Morocco. That's where we got a bunch of orangutans banging them out in the basement of a whorehouse, sir. <laughs> you didn't even actually think you were going to get a muffler for 20 bucks in this country with union wages as high as they are. Did you get a fucking jackass? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but what's uh, the rest of the charges on the bill? Well, let me go down for you. Well, to get a new Moroccan muffler kit to attach to an American system, the kit there, that's a whole, a whole other fucking ball of yard. That's fucking $150. You got to get a fucking connector kit and a pipe and a catalytic converter. The fuck do I need a catalytic converter for? Well, you got this shiny new Moroccan exhaust system on your car. You don't want to have a rusty old fucking catalytic converter on that 82 Honda, do you? Uh, no, I guess not. What's the little $7 charge on the bottom of the bill? Oh, that's where we fucking had to get a big bottle of KY jelly, sir, because it all wasn't going in quite as well as we had expected it to. <laughs> Good time. Let's <laughs> need a classic patented Midas muffler bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Woo! Ha! Ah. Hey, drink it. All right. Hey, hey. This feels good. But you guys are all way back there. Hey. Ah. This is a, this is a uh, trick in the business. It's called getting your thoughts together. You do a lot of this. <laughs> crowd, they don't know. All right. Good <laughs> Ain't the world just nuts, huh? Have we gone too far? Is it just is it just me or is everything fast? You know, you gotta fucking get there, you gotta get get quick, right? You gotta get on the net, you gotta learn stuff, you gotta surf the web, click and click, get down there, get it, get it, go, let's surf, let's do it, right? I got on the web recently and I fucking found a website that taught you how to fucking talk to deaf people by teaching you sign language. Oh well and good, but guess what some idiot decided to call the website? Uh, click.com. Click. That's a fucking sound, everybody. You learn in sign language and talk to deaf people, they name it after a fucking noise, right? So I went out in the streets with my newfound knowledge and I found my first little boy. I was like, hey, little guy, how you doing? He's like, I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing just great. You know, your sign language is amazing. Yeah, I learned how to talk to you today on click.com. Click, click.com, click, 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 click. It's a noise, boy. It's like, wing, blah, 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 blah. Ain't there any fucking noises, boy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking open a website on how to tutor the blind called Did you ever see the sunrise? Probably not. Dot com. We need the clips. Let's run. All right. I'm fucking driving here, and I had to get a place to stay, and I'm fucking end up at this place called the uh, Holiday Inn. Express. Express connotating speed at a night's rest. So I wanna have to tell me how you like speed up the whole process of fucking a hotel fucking rest doesn't it usually take about seven, eight hours maybe. And the breakfast we like roll up to the counter, hey I'd like to get a room. Yeah, well we don't have rooms now, be it next! I go in, it's Holiday Inn Express time. I drive by this fucking I drive by this place where you can get your glasses made in an hour. Like Lens Express or Lens Crafter, 60 minutes fucking lens, whatever. You seen these places? Like was there some guy actually demanding that service, like running in like, hey man, hey, I can't see so good. I just can't see, doc. All right, well, let's get you some exams, get you some glasses. How long are we talking? How long are we talking? Could be about three weeks. I gotta give you the test. I gotta ship it out. I gotta ship it back, all that stuff. Man, I don't got that kind of fucking time. You're talking weeks, man. Listen, you make those glasses in 58 minutes or less, or I'll just go back to sweating and eating carrots. No nuts, now let's go. <laughs> I don't want to meet that guy in a dark alley unless he had a big bottle of Jack and a dead 
rat. But that's fine for me. Never. Never. Should have been like a rock star at some point, huh? That would have been fun. Cause like you don't get done with comedy and then somebody fucking does an encore. You know, people are like, hey, Wheeler, Wheeler, and you go, thanks a lot. I tried to leave. Let me do you with that one more. Hey, I got a chuckle number for you. Oh, whatever. Doesn't happen. I just want to do comedy one night and have like girls throwing panties. Like that'd be fucking great. Telling jokes with panties. Doesn't happen though. It's okay. I understand why. Cause I don't have like things to throw back, like drumsticks and guitar picks and shit. So I'm just gonna start going with like bits in my pocket and be like, hey girls, come on, I'll throw some panties. Look at these jokes. I got some jokes. I throw jokes out. Good times. All right, great. <laughs> my own personal thought. Don't mind it. Okay. What do you want, one more? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Urinals! Shut up! <laughs> These fucking hecklers, you know? You fucking think you got rid of them, then they fucking fall into the next show. Fucking cops! <laughs> Here we go. I can feel you with me as a unit. Alright. So I'm trying to quit smoking. That's what I'm doing these days. Trying to quit smoking. It's fucking hard. Anyway, smokers, this town, fucking smoke them up. That's what you do. Fucking drink and smoke. My buddies are like, you're trying to quit smoking. I got, I got fucking tricks. They're like Nicoderm patch and CQ and fucking cold turkey and all this stuff. Are you with me, uh, Snarks? <laughs> well, none of those Nicoderm patches and all that crap are gonna work for me. Listen, what I need to fucking get me through the quitting smoking process. It's a nice new fucking brand new motorboat and some fucking water skis. I don't have enough time to smoke anymore because I just be out in Lake Michigan every day fucking water skiing instead. Yeah, who's got time to smoke now? Yeah, who? And all my buddies would be cruising by on their boats like, dude, you're looking pretty good on them skis. How's the quitting smoking going? <laughs> pretty good. I ain't got time for that these days. I'm water skiing instead. Yeah. I wouldn't just be quitting smoking, like I'd be getting pretty fucking good on water skis. I'd be fucking slaloming and jumping and fucking one-handed water skiing, right? My buddies would be like, dude, you're amazing on them skis. You're like a professional. How's the quitting smoking going? <laughs> That's so good. I got this free hand now. I'm smoking all the time. Must be two, three packs a day. Worse than it ever was. Right, that joke went absolutely nowhere, but I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Come on.